What's up juice lovers? This is Charlie Wetlaufer. I'm here today in front of one of my favorite juice companies of all time, Cafe Gratitude in LA. They've been open since 2004 and have since become a world famous plant-based vegan restaurant and juice bar. They're up to nine locations now. We're gonna go inside and talk to one of the second generation owners, Carrie Mosier, and learn what's behind the juice. Gary, how's it Charlie. going? Good to see you. Good to see you, welcome. Uh, so this is Cafe Gratitude downtown LA. Opened this in two years ago. And uh, have one of your juicers, the X1. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, excited to learn more about how the whole behind the scenes things work. Hey, well, let me, let me show you, let's, uh, let's jump into it. Cool. cool. So let's talk about your workflow a little bit back here at Cafe Gratitude. Like, how do you manage the whole juicing process? Um, I juice single ingredients, so okay. I'll juice like all orange, all uh, you know, celery, cucumber, yeah. whatever it is, right? So I juice them all. They wash them, chop it, juice it. They end up with full batches of single ingredients, and then after all that's done, they then take those single ingredients and mix it. Okay, cool. Um, Do you find that doing the single ingredients gives you better consistency, or? Yeah, um, you know, it's probably habit from what we've been doing, and I've, I've asked them to experiment with. Uh, mixing it and it's just um, for like our kind, we have so many different mixtures. I mean, yeah. I have you know 15 juices on the menu and okay. they're all different mixtures. Yeah, um, we found it to be more efficient to just right. juice single ingredients and they juice every day to keep yeah. it up. Every day we're juicing so that it's as fresh as possible. 2004 is when the first restaurant opened in San Francisco. Yeah, um, and then when we got this, it was um, change your life, game changer. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the, the, the I would say it's the piece of equipment in the kitchen that I don't have to repair. Nice. <laughs> like I spend, you know, thousands of dollars a month on refrigeration repair. Yeah. And I think I've fixed these maybe three well, times over 10 years. That's great to hear. Yeah. You know, my old man invented the thing, so it's a sense of pride for us for sure. It's a workhorse. So. No, I mean, yeah. in all honesty, like, it doesn't break. You know, to be honest, all this talking about juice is making me thirsty. Is there any chance we can sit down and try some? Totally, yeah. Uh, I got fresh juice. Uh, all over the place. Awesome. Let's try some out. Let's do it. Cool. Let's talk about this menu a little bit. Part of the intention behind Cafe Gratitude is to promote a perspective of the world that's based on gratitude and appreciation. Rather than just ordering a, uh, a green juice or um, you know, a salad, you order, I am balanced or I am healthful. Their philosophy is, you know, we're always affirming something. It should be something positive. Yeah, you know, our words have power. And uh, part of the theme here is to practice empowering conversations. You are glowing. Beautiful. You are hopeful. You are helpful. Look, I did this a range of colors. It's all intentional. <laughs> you are brave. Excellent. Can you uh, bring me like a little shot glass I can pour this into? Um, I'm, so. I'm guessing I'm going to have to shoot this. You're gonna shoot this, yeah. Okay. But I'm gonna pour it into a shot. I'll, I'll, I'll do it with you. We'll split it. All right. So you don't totally. It's lose all right. It. I'm brave. I think I can do the whole thing. Uh, uh, all right. Here, 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 <laughs> here, let's do this one. All right. Healthful. So you've got dandelion, pear, grapefruit, and tarragon. Interesting. You can definitely taste the dandelion and the tarragon. <laughs> yeah. It's good. They're good. I like it though. The pear takes the edge off a bit. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Something with a little sweetness in it. Yeah. Yeah. I like the garnish too, that's a nice touch. Yeah. Um, and then, here we go. So this one, this is the hopeful. Okay. So you've got pomegranate, orange, uh, citrus, right now it's probably uh, lemon, and um, chia seeds. Adding the chia, you can see that floating on top, it's like your, uh, the boba experience. Mm. That one's more, a little more yeah, sweet. Yeah, almost like a punch or something, yeah, yeah. like a fruit punch. I drink that one a lot. Here you go, this one's the glowing. This is one of my favorites. That you've got pineapple pear ginger, simple mixture. But I think it's like super refreshing, hot in LA a lot, garnish of mint. Yeah, nice and refreshing and light. Nice. All right, you want the, uh, the brave? All right, let's do it. So this one, we sell, we sell a lot of these. Oh yeah, wow. We took it down well. It's not bad. Lemon, turmeric, ginger, cayenne, essential oil, yeah. oregano. That's interesting, that's the first time I've had that. So. Yeah, so I mean, again, if you're ever feeling sick, oregano oil knocks everything out. Ooh, I can feel it sitting there now. <laughs> it's like starting to creep up. You can, you can, you can, you can shoot it with Yeah, that's that. true, I might have to wash that down with something. So how much of your business is juice compared to food? 
I'd say it's at least uh, 20 to 30 percent of our business. Oh wow. That being juice and smoothie mixture. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the juices we use in smoothies. Okay. So um, it's a huge part of our business. I mean, I have a grab and go. I stock with bottled juices every day, and that empties out every day. Yeah. Um, it's kind of the you know the staple of our menu. You've got you know 15 different juices. Right. Uh, 10 different smoothies, eight different shots and elixirs. Um, so there's a whole bevy of options. Yeah, you can really kind of have fun with it when you come here and try to. Yeah, yeah. I think people um, come in looking for a unique experience. So if someone were to come to you today and say, hey, I want to open a vegan restaurant or I want to open a, a juice bar, maybe that's two separate questions, but what advice would you give somebody? I think if you open a juice bar in the middle of, of, of America where there's nothing else available, I think it's a great idea. Right. Um, opening another one in LA, you know, it's going to be more challenging. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, you know, if you're passionate about it and, um, you know, you know there's a community that will support it, I think it's great. I think I've definitely seen, over the last few years, we've seen thousands of juice companies open. A lot of them not succeed and a lot of them starting to succeed. It seems like the people that really stay true to like their core values and like stick to organic or if they're not organic but they still stick to using good ingredients and like making the product right every time and have the passion for it, those seem to be the people kind of succeeding and growing. If you're, if you're in it for the wrong reasons, I'm sure you'll throw in the towel quicker. Uh -huh. um, and it's not easy. It's not like people think, oh, a restaurant's really complicated and hard and it is. Um, and then they think, oh, a juice bar will be you know, one eighth of the amount of work, and it's not. Right. It's it's you know, it's a lot of labor. It's a lot of um, hard work running any business. Um, luckily, you know, I was a full service restaurant, so I had you know my primary product is food, and then juice really complements that right. well. Uh, if I was relying just on juice, I'm sure it would have been more challenging. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's you know definitely staying true to your core values. I think really getting clear about why you're getting into the right. why you're opening a business is a question a lot of people unconsciously don't honestly answer before they start. Carrie, it's been fun. Thanks for giving me the tour. Charlie, Show I me appreciate around. it. Yeah, thanks it's for awesome. coming down. I'll see you, you next month for the here, opening. Well, uh, here, let's do it. Cheers, buddy. Cheers.